In many parts of the world, the Morgan three-wheeler is recognised as a motorcycle, which makes it quite affordable. In Australia, however, ADR legislation stipulates the vehicle is a car, and as such must meet all the same regulations as a four-wheel production vehicle. Of course, anyone with a lick of common sense would understand how absurd that requirement is. The three-wheeler's steel tube chassis and wooden aluminium body is a very different proposition to monocoque steel bodies of regular cars. It's also a very different proposition dynamically and, from a safety standpoint, presents rather patent hurdles around pedestrian impact, contact with exposed moving parts and, of course, the risk of a rather nasty burn. And let's not forget the fact that each time it rains, you're in for a soaking. So the more you look at it, the more it would appear that recognising the Morgan three-wheeler as a motorbike would make sense. And it'd also make it a heck of a lot cheaper, somewhere in the vicinity of $50,000. Oh yes, you heard correctly. In the UK, the three-wheeler retails for £26,000 or roughly $55,000 Aussie dollars. The asking price here is $98,000 before on roads, Morgan inflating the price to recoup the small fortune it spent homologating the three-wheeler for use on local roads, not to mention luxury car tax and import duty. Okay, that's the tough part of the sellover, but find the cash and the Morgan is a real hoot to drive. It's not quite like driving a car and it's not quite like riding a bike. In fact, it's nothing like driving anything I've ridden or driven ever before. But one thing's for sure, it sure does know how to put a grin on your face. Up front sits a V-twin motorcycle engine which drives the rear wheel via a 5-speed manual transmission. It makes just 80 kilowatts, but with a curb weight of half a tonne, Morgan says the three-wheeler will accelerate to 100 kilometres an hour in just six seconds. Well, it's noisy and it vibrates quite a bit. And if you push really hard, there is a little bit of understeer. But that said, it's a heck of a lot of fun. And honestly, I can't think of anything this side of a 911 that's as entertaining to pump three quarters. The Morgan's triangular wheel arrangement means there's three wheel tracks. Find a bumpy section of road and you can be sure that at least one of the wheels will find a pothole. There's also an excessive amount of wind noise at highway speeds, not to mention no radio, no heater, no Bluetooth, and well, no just about anything really. It's also one of those cars that even when you go relatively slow, it feels like you're doing a million miles an hour. All right, it's completely impractical, even as a second or third car, but you know what? It was worth waiting for. There's nothing like the three-wheeler anywhere, and I intend to make the very most of it.